Here it is, the Xbox Series X, one of the most highly anticipated console releases of all time. Okay, let's get right into the unboxing. The box really has a nice simple but colorful design to it that I really like. I really appreciate their choice to use these pull tabs as it makes the unboxing experience just feel that much more premium. It's very much like when you're unboxing an Apple product and you can just tell that they put countless hours into the design of the packaging to just give you that great first impression when you open up the box. And just look at that simple yet sleek design. It's just all weighed perfectly right in front of your eyes. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with the Xbox. It comes nicely packaged in this black box. Inside you'll find the instruction manual. A power cable. I really like their choice to build the power supply into the unit so it does not require an external power brick. The included HDMI cable meets the HDMI 2.1 specification. This means that it officially supports up to 4K resolution at 120 hertz refresh rate. Here's the controller. The controller looks like just what you would expect if you've ever owned a previous generation of Xbox console. The buttons have a nice satisfying click to them. The overall grip of the controller feels nice, but doesn't feel like much of a step up from previous generations. And lastly, you have the AA batteries. Yes, Microsoft chose once again to go with AA batteries rather than an internal rechargeable battery. Let me know down in the comments what you would have preferred to see. Now for the main event, let's unbox the console itself. Here's our mobile app setup instructions. And we gently slide the foam off each end. Once again, let's just take a moment to appreciate the sleekness of the packaging. We'll stand the unit up on its end. And there is the console itself. It's got a nice solid feel to it, though it's not overly heavy. I'm not sure I like how easily it shows fingerprints.
Let's take a look at the connection ports on the back. You've got two USB 3 type A ports, your power input and HDMI output. It's got a single gigabit ethernet port. Lastly, it has your high speed storage expansion slot. I'm glad to see that they kept the ethernet port. So many devices are ditching it, assuming that everybody is going to use Wi-Fi. When it comes to gaming performance, Ethernet is always going to be your best choice. I was a little disappointed to find out that the Xbox Series X does not include Wi-Fi 6. In the top of the unit, you'll find the cooling fan. The Xbox Series X uses a unique split motherboard design. This is supposed to increase airflow and help with cooling. It is interesting how the console was designed in such a way that it could be oriented either vertically or horizontally. It looks nice in both positions. I think I slightly prefer the look of it standing vertically. Overall, I really like the unboxing experience. I will be releasing a future video showing the initial setup and configuration of the console.